the recruiter doesn't want to mess up and make a bad hire and then get fired. What they're scared of is making a bad hire. The reason that matters for you is whenever you're applying to that first job, whenever you're applying to that first role, it's like you have to frame your conversation in such a way the recruiter is completely trusting of you and they think that you will not cause issues or you'll be a great hire. If, if that's shown through your work ethic, if, that, if that's shown through proof of skills, like somehow you got to find a way to get that recruiter to trust you so that they feel like you will not be a bad hire. There's a very low probability that they'll get fired for, you know, making a bad hire on you. And then the second person you've got to consider is the business owner, the entrepreneur, the people that are actually making money from the business and not just on salary is they don't want to make a bad hire on you. Sure. But they also care about how much money you can make them. When you're having conversations with C-suite, when you're having conversations with individuals who are more tied directly to the business's performance, they care about if they spend a hundred thousand dollars per year on hiring you, how are you going to generate them another 300,000 per year, another 500,000 per year? 99% of employees never think like that. But the reality is you're only paid as much as you are valuable to the business. Six figure salaries don't come from nowhere. Businesses are not charities. The reason these jobs pay so much is because you can be immensely valuable to the correct company.